I'm going to floor level two. That's nice. Great. We're all here. Now we can start. You were all invited here on one premise and another. But I have to admit, we weren't entirely truthful with you. But it was necessary to get you here. When this alarm clock reaches 11.11, you will all die. 11.11 is a pre-coded trigger placed in our cellular memory banks, like an alarm. When activated, it tells our bodies to ascend into matter, to die. Much like computer binary code, it's how everything in the universe is programmed. If you take the last two digits of your birth year, and add them to your age in this year, 2011, you will all come up with 111. 111 years ago, an experiment began. A sequence of events was put into place which would lead to all of your existences. The experiment began at 11.11 on the 11th day of the 11th month, 1900. Now, 111 years later, the experiment will come to an end. In 1990, at Crawley Down and Furs Hill, something unusual happened. These are sites of crop circles. On the date there, next to these pre-existing crop circles, some mysterious markings appeared. 11, 11. 11, 11. This code predates all languages we now know it. All events fit into the sequence 11, 11. It is a trigger to end one thing and begin another. On September the 11th, 1941, ground was broken on the construction of the Pentagon in the US. We all know what happened to that Pentagon on September the 11th, 2001, together with the Twin Towers. And what number did the Twin Towers resemble? On the 11th day of the 11th month, 1911, the US saw its coldest snap in its history. And it's no coincidence that the hostilities of the First World War ended on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. These events both triggered the end of a sequence and the beginning of another. The ocean at its deepest point is 11.2 kilometres. A rocket needs to travel at 11.3 kilometres per second to escape the Earth's gra gravitational field. The universe is controlled by these sequences of 11, and I am afraid your sequence is almost up. So the clock is a detonator. If you all try to leave at once, you will all die. This is terrorism! No, it's science. It's murder, however you dress it up. You don't have to do this. You're not understanding me. The trigger is something I have no control over. The sequence was set a long time ago. End that thing or I fucking end you right now. It's in your hands. What do you mean? The only way you can survive is to break the sequence of 11 and become 10. 10 breaks the sequence. So you're saying that if we sacrifice one of us, the rest of us are free to go? I'd just like to point out that I'm an extremely wealthy lady, if you know what I mean. You're not understanding this. I am not doing it. So, who do you work for? Are you trying to tell me God is telling you to do this? Let's just say it's a higher power. I'm off. This is ridiculous. Oh, yes. What are you doing? You're not buying this shit, are you? All I know is that no one is leaving until we know what's going on. Everyone, just calm down. I'm sorry, what was your name? That's irrelevant. All you need to know is who you're in the room with. Well, what's that supposed to mean? You need to decide who should stay behind. Well, how are we going to decide something like that? Well, why don't you tell people about your situation, Ed? You're inhuman. Why don't you tell us about your situation? It's my business. I think if we've got to decide, it's everybody's business. Oh, don't worry, we all know who you are, Amy. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, what are you doing here anyway? 
Please, I have to be in the tent. I've got, I've got four small children who need me. It seems to me that this is a business transaction just like any other. We each make a case why we should be included in the ten, and then we all vote. That seems fair. We could draw cards. Do you have any cards? No. Then shut up. Fine, I'll start. Well, as you know, my husband is Gary Silverman. We are national treasures. If he lost me, he wouldn't play for the country, and that would affect everybody. If we left this moron behind, we'd in the world a favour. Excuse me, but who are you? Not being funny, mate, but you need to get a life. You're out of touch. You ignorant little bitch. You're the one that's out of touch. You're a plastic girl living in a plastic bubble. You wouldn't know the first thing about the real world. And I suppose you lived the perfect life with the perfect woman? I did. Well, if that's your argument, I think I've got you beat. The whole world knows who I am. Oh, shut up. The whole world knows you can't act. <laughs> you're not famous for anything. In fact, no, you're not famous at all, you ditzy little tart. I'm sorry, but is this how we're judging people, on how famous they are? It's just about success, isn't it? It's about how hard you worked. Worked hard? Oh, with all due respect, all you've done is lay on your back. Oh, you want to fucking go, bitch? I can't even talk to you. Allow me to state my claim to the top ten. I, unlike some, have worked very hard for these things that I've achieved. I have a very high social standing and I am responsible for over 100,000 jobs in the UK alone. If I were not around, it would affect the workers and families of many thousands of people around the world. I have given the world so much that clearly I deserve a place in the top ten. Your business has survived without you. Well, what do you do? I had a roofing business until I lost it in the recession. So you don't have anything further to lose then? I worked hard for that business. I didn't have the luck that you did. I think I deserve some now. It's not luck, my dear. So, other than being a mother, do you do anything else? Other than being a mother? I'm responsible for the lives of four children. How much more responsible can you get? By that rationale, Every piece of scum in every tower block in England is worth saving. Are you saying they're not? I run a food bank for some of the scum that you're referring to. Oh, here we go. Source of the earth, I suppose. Let's give all our money to them. I've committed the crime of being successful, and that is frowned upon in this country. Why should they have to work for it? The world owes them it. They're twice the human beings you are. This isn't the X Factor, darling. I don't need your sob story. Next! What is it that you do? I live. I connect with people. So nothing then? I don't know if anyone realises, but we've only got three fucking minutes left. Well, I guess you better make your case then. I don't have to prove myself to you. He's homeless and he lives on the streets. What are you telling her for? So what about you? What's your story? Lost everything this year. I think I deserve to lose it again. I doubt you've lost more than I have. No. I had a wife, a kid, a house, a great job and people who cared about me. Everything was going so well, I had it all. My job was taking up so much of my time, I needed some time myself before I went home at night. Started playing a hand of blackjack and before long it was all night poker and slot machines and I ended up lying to my family. Yeah, that's terrific. You, you know we're pressed for time here. What happened? I lost it all. You idiot. Excuse me? It's your fault. You had a loving family and you gave them away. You don't deserve them. Do you want to step outside? I think it's quite apparent we'd all like to do that, you prick. Calm down. We all need to stick together. He had a loving family and he gave them away. I had them taken from me. Taken. But you're still alive. And you may live a while longer yet. Are you trying to make me feel better? I don't give a shit how you feel. Six months' time, I won't feel anything anymore. What? Nothing. You're dying. Oh, well, that's it then. He has to stay. Why? Well, because you'd be dead anyway. Well, I've planned my last six months of you. I'm sorry, but it's the only way. 
I thought you helped people in need. Yes, but they've got hope. You can't expect us to die to save you. So it's decided then. He stays. I'm not staying here. Grab it! Find something to tie him up with! Yeah. Interesting. Thank you. What are we doing? It's a load of bollocks. There's nothing in this. Come on. Where the fuck's she gone? Eleven and become ten.